Yes guys, welcome back to Hair System DIY. Today we're gonna to look at long hair systems and how some of them look really good. I'm gonna show you a couple of videos I came across on YouTube and I'm just gonna basically critique them um, give my opinions, offer some comments and that kind of thing. But these look good, so let's have a look at them. Now this is a company called Haydeck uh, in Germany. They do really, really good systems and their videos are super cool. So you can see with this guy, he's got the long bio hair already sorted. You'd need that. It'd make him look more realistic. Kind of looks like, it looks like a poly perimeter with lace in the middle. Let me actually just double check what's at the front there. Because it looked like lace, but then when she turned it upside down, it looked like a poly. Let's have a look. It looks like lace there. It's difficult to tell. I think it is a lace front and then a poly around the perimeter because the front looks really realistic. Perfect fit. A couple of things I've noticed straight off the bat is the color uh, match is perfect. The color match is perfect in relation to the guy's bio hair. I think when you've got shorter hair on the sides, like I usually do, if the color's a little bit off, it doesn't really matter because your actual bio hair is so short that it's barely able to notice. But when you've got a long hair system like this gentleman, um, you need to have the color match right because there's a lot of bio hair growing on the side and they've nailed it here. What I've also noticed as well is when you look at the system itself and then you look at the bio hair, which is on the side, the density is pretty much a spot on match. It doesn't look too thick either, and it doesn't look too thin. Doing glue at the front with a bit of tape. I always think that's, I always think that's a wise choice because I find that glue gives you that more natural appearance if you want to have the hair up. sort of thinning it out a bit on the back. This looks fantastic. It really looks amazing. The blend is looking perfect. The color is spot on. Putting a bit of product in, probably some leave-in conditioner. How cool is that? <laughs> now, I, few, I think a few things have sort of aided um, this long hair system looking so amazing. Um, naturally having, growing out your bio hair on the side is a really wise move um, because it just blends more naturally. I think if you've got it totally shaved on the sides, it can look, I mean, I suppose it's a little bit in fashion. It's a little bit in fashion um, at the moment to have like your sides shaved and that's fine. But I think it gives a more natural appearance when your hair is long on the sides. You also look at the density as well. Um, if you look at the density here, um, when he sort of has it revealed. Um, the density looks good. The density looks really good. You know, that looks perfectly natural. Obviously having a lace frontal with bleached knots really helps as well for if you want to have the hair up. It looks natural that the distance between the eyebrows and the, um, the beginning of the hair system is pretty much spot on as well. He's a very happy camper. It sort of works quite well with his stubble as well. Works really well. And for any of my German friends, if you can translate in the comments box, please do, because I've no idea what he's saying. <laughs> right, so on to number two. So this gentleman has black hair, and I wanted to show you this one because he does have hair shaved on the sides. So let's watch this. He actually looks like he has quite a lot of natural hair there already, but I suppose maybe not enough to grow it long. I still think that looks quite cool, even though it's shaved on the sides. I think you have to have, I mean, you know, 
he kind of has that sort of you know rocker look um that sort of heavy metal look he could be in a band with hair like that um i'm not sure it would work for the sort of office look as it were but it seems to work quite well for him um i've seen other ones whereby actually let me go backwards a bit i think that can really work quite well as long as the density is okay um and as long as interestingly you've kind of got a face shape to support that kind of style um, so number one, you don't want the density to be too much. It's important to remember that when you're getting a long hair system, because when hair is longer, it naturally looks thicker. So you would naturally need to go for a density, which is probably about 10% down from where you'd be if you had a short hair, hair system like my one. Um, so yeah, you'd probably, this is 105 you'd probably want to go down to a 90 if you were sort of going for this, looking for this, if you wanted this type of appearance of density, but with a longer hair system, a 90 would probably be about right. I'd estimate with this gentleman, he's maybe like 100%, maybe. I wouldn't say more than that. I've seen some where it, it just looks way too thick. And I think the reason for that is because they've gone for the same density that they go with a short hair system, and it just, it looks too bulky. Um, also a couple of people, a couple of those people have like shaved on the sides. So it makes it look even more dense on top. That's an important thing to add. If you've got hair on the sides, naturally growing longer, it, it lessens the appearance of weight on the top of the head in terms of the hair system. But look, this guy looks good. Um, I, I think that works pretty well for him. Now guys, if you're interested in getting a long hair system yourself, you've seen those videos and you think, yeah, I'd like to try this out. This looks like it could work with me. Or you're just a bit curious and you're in the stage of wearing hair systems whereby you're looking for something a little bit different. Um, Le Vivid Hair, who sponsors this video and who I'm partnered with, they do long hair systems. Um, it's called a NOAA, so it's 14 inches long, the hair. It's a bit pricier, but that is because the hair is longer. There's more hair. That means it will cost more money. Um, but you can get it in one color as it stands right now. So if you've got black hair, this could really work for you. Obviously, if you feel confident in dyeing your systems yourself, you could dye it as well. So you could buy it in this color and dye it to whatever your natural color is. If you're intrigued by what it looks like, it looks a little bit like this. Okay, so you've got lace at the front to give that natural appearance. And then you've got poly around the sides and you've got a bit of monofilament in the middle. So guys, what's your opinion on long hair systems? Have you tried one yourself? Is it something that after watching this video that you would consider giving a go? It's certainly something a little bit different. I suppose it's something quite trendy as well. It might make you stick out a little bit in the crowd. Might be something worth trying for a little bit and see how you get on. Let me know in the comments box below. And thanks to everyone who's been supporting my content so far. I'm now at over 2K subscribers and I'm so proud of that, but it wouldn't have been possible without you guys. Let's try and get to the next milestone which for me is 3k subscribers so please if you haven't subscribed yet and you're enjoying my content please hit that subscribe button please do click that thumbs up button it'll also help more people find this free content and more people may well buy hair systems as a result so you're not just helping me you're helping other people suffering from hair loss i'll speak to you very soon guys bye for now